Maven B1.2 binoculars. Today on Precision Rifle Network. Let's get into it. All right guys, so today I'm gonna to tell you all about the Maven B1.2. Why 1.2? Well, because they had the Maven B1 and they decided to upgrade it. So now it's 1.2. They, you know, increased the field of view, better light transmission, just some nicer creature comforts. So it's 1.2, all right. So I'm gonna run through the specs on this thing first. I'll pop in some B-roll so you can kind of see what I'm talking about up close. We'll just go from there. I'm also gonna give you some through the, through the optic video as well. It's, it, the thing with that is, is that you have to understand that not only are you losing light and color uh, once you start attaching some sort of a device back here um, to digiscope through the optic, um, you're also relying on the quality of the camera back here. And the way that that attaches is by using a cell phone. Now cell phones are pretty good these days, but they're not ideal. And so you gotta understand this visually, what you see with your naked eye with these things is considerably better than what you're gonna be seeing on the screen through the cell phone footage. So anyway, here we go. So these are the Maven B1.2s. Uh, they are a 10 by 42. They actually also make an eight by 42. They're the exact same size, weight and everything. Uh, size roughly five inches by six inches by two to 2.2 inches. The 10 by 42 version costs $1,000. Um, come in different colors. You can get the, uh, the orange and gray and black, or you can get kind of black on black with gray, uh, which is pretty cool. I like the orange. I just think it adds something to it. It looks, just looks really sharp. Um, speaking of this little orange ring around here, you know, which on mine just has the model number of Maven B1.2, you can get that custom engraved like with your name, or maybe you're giving them a gift to your dad or something like that. Uh, my kids pay attention. You can get that custom engraved for 30 bucks to say whatever you want you know, like Precision Rifle Network or something like that. The field of view, uh, once you're looking through and you're magnified, you know, it's magnified 10 times. So the field of view is 66 degrees, which is actually pretty good in my opinion. I mean, a 10X is really an ideal field of view when you're out in the field. Uh, you go to like a 15X bino and you've got all that extra magnification, but you lose some field of view. 10X really is a sweet spot, in my opinion, when it comes to binoculars. Uh, the light transmission through these is 94.5%. So the best that I've ever seen in terms of, of high-end glass and, and really good light transmission is something like 97 to 98%. It's impossible to get 100% light transmission. It's just impossible to do it from what I've been told and learned over the years. So a 94.5% light transmission is pretty dang good. Uh, the weight of these is 26.8 ounces. It's the same weight for the eight times ones. They have an, a temperature range um, of negative 13 all the way up to 140 degrees. So I just imagine that that's probably things like, you know, like these knurled knobs on here are aluminum. Uh, you know, a lot of the parts are, are metal, the internals, uh, magnesium, like the frame inside is magnesium. So it's metal, it's, it, it tends to freeze, stuff freezes up, right? And so negative 13, I don't know what you're doing out in negative 13 degree weather anyway, in my opinion, but uh, negative 13 to 140 on the temp range. Uh, does have Japanese glass and components all assembled here in the United States. Uh, ED prime glass, you've got it's fog proof and waterproof coatings on there. Uh, the waterproof is not a coating obviously, but they test it to IPX7 rating, whatever that is, pressurized water test uh, for one meter depth, like submerged and pressurized to try to see if it's gonna leak and they consider it waterproof. They have waterproof on their website, not water resistant, so I'm saying waterproof. One of the best things too, lifetime unconditional warranty. You remember way back in the day when Vortex started and that's what everybody was screaming about. Ah, oh, lifetime unconditional warranty. It doesn't matter if you run it over with your car accidentally. Send it in, they'll replace it. Well, I Maven seems to be the exact same way when it comes to their uh, unconditional warranty as well. Just a post the other day on their Instagram was somebody's got damaged badly in a fire or something. No questions asked, help that person out. So anyway, 
that's all the specs, okay? Now my thoughts on it, um, a few things that I just really love um, when I got it. Number one, I like the fact that it comes with the little caps, right? Like, I don't want dust and debris getting in there. Like, I live in South Dakota out in the Western Hills and it gets really dusty and windy out here. And to have these caps to keep dust and crap off your lenses, really helpful. Just fit and finish the feel of these on the outside, like the rubberized coating is super nice. Like you've got a good grip in all conditions. You've obviously got a couple of little connection points there if you wanna run uh, a strap on there. You've also got covers for the back lenses as well which have the little connection points you can integrate with your strap so that you can pull this off. It's captured by your neck strap and they won't go anywhere. The eye pieces, of course, you know, adjustable to three different locations all the way in, a couple in the all the way out. Nice rubberized eye pieces, um, threaded on, and just really nice. It's a good fit and finish and feel. Like there's just enough tension. They're not sloppy or loose. Time will tell if they loosen up a ton. Like that happened on my SIG binoculars to where they are actually just got sent back uh, to SIG for service because after only like a year and a half or two years, these eye cup pieces would no longer stay out. They had zero resistance whatsoever. These seem to be machined a little bit better, made a little bit better. So I'm hoping that those will last. Um, another cool feature about the Mavens is just the way they, they look good, they feel good. Like this aluminum, you know, knurled kind of adjustment knob right here. Gosh dang, it's just so smooth and perfect. And it just, it feels good, it's positive. Great, just really good. Really good, solid pair of binoculars. I think a great price point for, for the build quality and the aesthetics and the glass, the light transmission, the coatings. Thousand bucks to me seems perfectly priced. It's got a little uh, cover right here in the front, if you guys can see that or not. This little orange cover with the, with the Maven logo on it, that unscrews and you can actually get various adapters uh, on there so that you can um, hook it up to you know, Arca Swiss on top of your tripod or something like that for glassing off of a tripod. So all in all, love these. I think they're really good. Definitely worth the thousand dollar price tag in my opinion. So, uh, you know, if you're in the market for a good set of binos, maybe check out Maven. It's mavenbuilt.com, but I will leave a link in the description below. Guys, thanks for watching today and make sure and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, stay tuned for more great videos from Precision Rifle Network.